Hello friends and welcome to the tech storm. In this video, I am going to discuss with you about the difference between all data management related technologies like data science, data mining, business analytics and intelligence, machine learning and so on. So the content of this video will be as follows. First we will understand what is data, why it is important, then because difference between these all terms. First of all, I would like to tell you that all these technologies have one common thing in between and that is data. All are interrelated through data. So let's first understand what is data. The data can be anything like your name and date of birth, location where you live, your mobile and Wi-Fi password, your bank account number, heart rate, and the video which is you are watching right now is also data. We all live around data. So why this data is so important? All companies use data to create strategies, make important decisions and set goals for the business. A good data management process will help companies to align strategies and identify areas of growth. And in today's competitive environment, being able to make those decisions before the competition or making the best decision for your business is crucial to growing your business. The data has a features or attributes which represent some facts like for example each video on YouTube has a watch time, number of likes and dislikes, shares, description, keywords all are features of a video which are used by you to search and sort most relevant video result on the basis of user search query. Let's take another example if you have a store in various cities of country and you have to get the idea of how much will be the sales for each of store 4 weeks before for better management then in that case you can use predictive analytics to predict the sales of the each stores so for that you will need past historical data of each store from which we can derive the insights and use it for better business outcomes now let's discuss the difference between all the terms the first one is big data so data which is very large in a size is called big data and it is stated that almost 90 percent of the today's data has been generated in the past three years there are three ways of the big data the first one is the velocity it is the speed at which data is increasing it is estimated that the volume of the data will double in every two years the next one is the veracity that is the variety it basically means the type of the data it can be structured like a excel file comma separated values file system or database or it can be unstructured like a video file or an image file and the last one is the volume it is the amount of the data which we deal with this big data come from many sources like a social networking sites like Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, all the sites get huge amount of data on day-to-day -day basis as they have billions of users worldwide. Then we have an e-commerce site, Amazon, Flipkart, Alibaba, which generate huge amount of logs from which users buying trend can be traced. Then we have a weather station. The weather stations collect data from the sensors and the satellite, which are very huge and are stored and manipulated to forecast weather. Telecom companies study user trends and accordingly publish their plans for the benefits and for this they store the data of its millions of users. Share market across the world generate huge amount of data through its daily transaction. Now let's understand what is data science. Data science basically addresses specific questions like what will be the number of sales of a store in a third quarter or when will share price will reach to the specific amount then for predicting network traffic, forecasting weather and in many decision making processes. It basically involves collecting data like from client databases, user surveys, user generated data, gathering real time data using APIs. The second step is to pre-process that data which involves cleaning data, organizing data, removing anomalies and redundancies that is basically feature engineering. The third step is to analyze the data 
using various statistical and graphical test methods. The fourth step is to derive insights and generate business intelligence report and perform analytics on that. It is basically done using machine learning, business intelligence and analysis tools. The last step is to take decision and act according to it. Then we have a data mining. Data mining is the process of extracting hidden facts and unknown patterns from raw data with the intent of turning this amount of data into the useful information. Data mining is sometimes used in a data science. Like for example, if we are dealing with a time series data of store sales, then in that case, we may observe for components like seasonality, which is the fixed pattern occurs after a specific interval in a data like a higher number of sales on first three or four days of every month because people get their salaries on month end. The next component can be trained. It is basically gradual increase or decrease in a number of sales. And the last one can be random shock. It is a random fluctuation due to the random reason like if there are two shops A and B. If shop B is closed due to the some maintenance purpose then all the traffic from shop B gets diverted to shop A. Next we have a data analytics. Data analytics is the process where large data sets are analyzed to draw some conclusion from the information they contain for better decision making processes. There are the three types of the analytics. The first one is the descriptive analytics which is also called business intelligence which gives insights into the past. It basically tells us what has happened. Descriptive analytics creates summary of historical data to give useful information and possibly prepare the data for further analysis. It shows the summary through dashboard, charts, diagrams and sticks. Then we have a predictive analytics. It tells us what could happen. Predictive analytics is used to make prediction about unknown future events. Predictive analytics uses many techniques from data mining, statistics modeling, machine learning and AI to analyze current data to make prediction about the future. And finally we have a prescriptive analytics which tells us what should we do. Prescriptive analytics basically attempts to identify the effect of future decisions in order to advise on possible outcomes before the decisions are actually made. In the last we have the most important and it's called machine learning. Normally we write program to solve problem but in machine learning we write programs that teaches computer how to solve problem. For example suppose we have to predict the sales for the next month then in that case we will create machine learning model that will use the past historical data learn about patterns and behavior of store sales and finally predict the sales for the next month. The advantage of machine learning is that it can learn continuously to improve current accuracy like humans and predict the act with maximum accuracy when exposed to new data. One of the best example of real time machine learning is a Tesla car which learn how to drive when it drives on manual mode and drive on its own when put on autopilot mode.